Hello there, Mr. Sutton here bringing you the IM3 4.2 Part 1 Homework Solutions on Solving by Square Rooting. To solve this quadratic equation, I notice that we don't have any linear terms. Since I only have x squareds and constants, that means I can solve this by just square rooting. So let me get the constants over on one side and the squared terms on the other. Adding 224 to the right side, 266 plus 224, that's going to be 490. And then subtracting 3x squared from both sides, that's going to leave me with 10x squared on the left side. Now I have to divide both sides by 10 to get x squared by itself. So we've got x squared equaling 49. And now I have to square root both sides of the equation. Um, so that's going to leave me with an x on the left side and a plus or minus 7 on the right side. And plus or minus 7, those are our solutions. For this problem, I have only squared terms and constants, so I can solve this by square rooting at some point. But first I have to get this squared term by itself. To do that, I just have to divide both sides by this 10 right here. So that'll give me uh, x plus 7 quantity squared equals negative 81. And now I can square root both sides to get rid of that square. So that leaves me with x plus 7 on the left side. And on the right side, since I'm square rooting an equation, I'm going to have a plus or minus plus or minus square root of negative 81. But now since this is a negative inside, I can take that out right away as an i. So I'll write plus or minus i radical 81. And now to get x by itself, I have to subtract 7. So we're going to have x equals negative 7 plus or minus, and now I can square root 81 to get 9i. For this problem, we have only squared terms and constants, so I can solve by square rooting. Let me first add uh, 5x squared over to the left side, just so I have like terms with each other. So that'll be 10x squared over on the left side. And then dividing both sides by 10, I have x squared equals 9. And now I can just square root both sides. So on the left side, I've just got x. On the right side, since I'm square rooting an equation, this is going to be plus or minus square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. For this problem, I've got only squared terms and constants. That means that I can solve by square rooting. So let me first isolate this squared term. Let me start by subtracting 12. That gives me 28. And then if I divide by this 4 out here, that'll be a 7. So now that I've got the squared term all isolated, I can square root both sides. That gives me x plus 4 on the left side. And since I'm square rooting an equation, I have to write plus or minus square root of 7. And all I have to do now to isolate x is subtract 4 from both sides. So we end up with negative 4 plus or minus radical 7. For this problem, this is one that since I have x stuck inside just a squared parentheses, I'm able to solve this one by square rooting. Let me start by isolating that squared parentheses. So I'm going to just divide both sides by 3. That gives me 8 on the right side. And now I can square root both sides. Now, since I'm square rooting an equation, that means I have to have a positive and negative root over here on the right side. So on the left side, I've got x minus 3, just with no square, because I just square rooted it. And on the right side, uh, this would be plus or minus square root of 8, but we're going to have to simplify that 8. I know I can split that up into 4 and 2, so let me immediately just split it up that way. So... At this point, I can add 3 to the right side, and I can square root that 4. So I'm going to have plus or minus 2 radical 2, and that's as simplified as it's going to get.